Definitely not my proudest moment, I'll tell you that. In this video, we will take you to the glorious Nika Whisky Distillery, a popular local seafood lunch spot before we end off at a chill coffee shop in Yoichi, Hokkaido. Let's go. Nika wants to drink his whiskey. Nika Whiskey Distillery is located in Yoichi, which is to the west of Sapporo and is reachable by train. There are two ride options. The first one is the cheaper option we took, uh, which takes about one and a half hours to get there and it costs us about 1,290 yen. The second one is a more expensive option at 2,130 yen, but it gets you there in about an hour from Sapporo. Both options involve a transfer in Otaru before continuing on to Yoichi, but it's pretty straightforward. But one thing you should know. We got the usual uh, train card, like Passmo card, or Fukuoka card won't work, but turns out it doesn't. So yeah, those who are interested in going to Yoichi, please take note of that. Buy uh, tickets from the ticket counter. Yeah, mm. other than that, I can't wait to have Nika whiskey. So we got our tickets at the Sapporo station, ticket office. We went there a few days earlier before our planned day of visit to Nika Whiskey Distillery, approached the staff and she advised us on a few train timings. We then chose our preferred timing and made payment. They accept credit cards and the staff at the station also speaks English, so no worries there. So we have arrived at Yoichi. So the Nika Distillery is just arrived ahead. Our session is 11.30. Now it's 11.22. So I think we need to walk a bit faster. Okay, let's go. We are here. Yeah. <laughs> you just dropped something. I'll come to Nika Distillery. So Nika Whiskey Distillery conducts free guided tours with whiskey tastings, believe it or not. You just have to make an online reservation on their website. A slight qualm that you might have is that the guided tours are only in Japanese. However, when we were there, our guide would flash out English guide cards throughout the tour. So that was helpful and we still learned a lot about the distillery. Self-guided tours were available before the pandemic, but they continue to be suspended at the time of this video release. So, if you're interested in self-guided tours, please check if they have actually been resumed uh, on the distillery's website. Link is in the description. If you have tried and fallen in love with Nika Yoichi Single Malt, you will then recall the lovely toasted flavors. This is because of the direct coal fire distillation process done at these pot stills. The process requires skilled technicians like this gentleman right here to feed fire with coke. They must not only ensure that the heat exceeds 1000 degrees Celsius, but also have it maintained throughout the whole distillation process. This is a traditional technique maintained to this day and now you know where the smoky aroma comes from. We also learned that the name Nika was rebranded from Dai Nippon Kaju, which translates to Premium Japan Juice. This is because the company used to produce apple juice back in the 1930s. Ni comes from Nippon and Ka comes from Kaju. Yeah, you get the drift. Anyway, the reason behind this was that Yoichi was famous for apples during that time and since whiskey isn't something you could distill and sell immediately, the company had to sell apple juice to get some business going. And now for the most exciting part of the tour. Single mock Yoichi. Oh. So fragrant. Check out the golden color. Golden yellow. Mm. So smooth. So nice. Here you got to try this. The wife's turn to try the single malt Yoichi. I'm not a fan of whiskey, so there goes nothing. Will you like it? A moment of truth. Wow. It's not bad. Oh, a bit like, there's a bit sweetness. Honey? Mm -hmm. The honey notes, yeah. right? A bit of smoky mm. uh, flavor. Of yeah. And not too bad actually. <laughs> it's almost like I think it'll pair well with like barbecue. Mm. 
Oh, but the alcohol. <laughs> the initial punch. <laughs> yeah. But after that, the sweet notes come in, right? I think we can add some water. Okay. So much. I'm gonna screw this up. Okay, this is water. Oh. So there was this apple wine amongst the three, uh, the set of flights of three that they actually gave us. And guess what? Fiona loves the apple wine the best. Yeah, I love the apple whiskey one. It was very unexpected. It's very nice. So we're gonna try and see if we can actually get a bottle. <laughs> Maybe two? Three? Oh, I don't know. Too much. We'll see. <laughs> so we found this apple wine that Fiona likes and um excuse me. It's uh Only about ten dollars. Ten dollars. Yeah, bye, bye, bye. So I think we're gonna be Fine too. <laughs> Let's go and see others. This is the initial design. And then transforms the final design. Going to the tasting room. <laughs> it's only 10 bucks for 10. Then 70 is all Singapore dollars. What? I mean, I gotta try. Hi. Mm. How do you like it? It's like honey. It's sweet. And after that, the alcohol just hit you. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try this. Um, it's 57% alcohol. This is the 10 year um, special. Yeah, very cheap. I was recommended to put a drop of water, but I'm just gonna try it neat. Ooh! Usually you expect a very harsh, um, you know, taste. This is completely smooth. Probably it's because of the 10 years, but it doesn't feel like 57% at all. It's really nice. After that fun bit of drinking, we made our last stop at the father of Japanese whiskey's former residence where Masataka Takitsuru lived with his wife, Rita. It features the family's household items, diaries, letters, so you get a sense of what their life was like. Mm. This is her favourite song. They are cute. Oh, that's cool. So that's where... Masataka Taketsuru will be sitting in the living room, just chilling, thinking about his next Mika blend. Wishes and love from loving husband. Is it husband? Yeah, husband. Oh, I can't read. 1922. So nice. It's so cool. Done with Yoichi Distillery. I'm super happy. <laughs> we've been to Yamazaki Distillery, Hakushu, and finally we checked the last Mika. box. Yay! Mika Distillery. You have conquered all three. Yes. <laughs> and now we are super hungry. We're gonna go and look for lunch. Ah, Let's go! <laughs> Now 
walking to our lunch spot now. Um, the whole town looks very empty, very aesthetic, very quiet. Let's just hope that our lunch place is actually open. Because Fiona will kill me if he doesn't. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Done with lunch and now off for coffee. This is the place. Hi. Our day trip to Yoichi. <laughs> I'm happy. So, bought quite a lot of stuff from Yoichi Distillery. <laughs> She's happy. Everyone's happy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like it, it's just like a you know very suitable day trip from Sapporo. Just gotta buy a tickets. Uh, the IC cards don't work. Uh, you. For the Otaro to Yoichi. Yeah. So, but it nonetheless is actually very easy. You just gotta go to the ticket counter. Just tell them you want to go to Yoichi and they will actually, you know, get the tickets for you and then you just pay accordingly. Yep, so thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye!